Wow. Um, what an incredible opening panel. To four amazing people, it is my privilege now to sum up. To Luba, you so eloquently, eloquently showed us the entire connection in the Judeo-Christian biblical foundation. Thank you so much. That is at the core of every Jew and Christian in this room, and we thank you for that. <clears throat> Abel, with your amazingly inspiring speech for Impact Ministries, you took us through the, the history from Ben Gurion right through today, showing us so clearly how the facts that existed under apartheid, it's exact opposite within Israel. And those facts stand testimony to your love and commitment for Israel. Abel, thank you so much. <laughs> Sam, you took us through another fantastic journey, a journey <coughs> of the trials, <coughs> of the tribulations, of the tragedies that Israel and the Jewish people have faced to show us how God and Hashem has supported us. And we stand proud today <coughs> and thank you for your friendship and all of those in the room that we need you with us to withstand those trials in the name of Hashem and to stand victorious. Sam, thank you. <coughs> and last but not least, Olga, what do I say to a, an incredibly feisty young lady <coughs> representing the face of Israel in the political reality of today? Olga, you have given us such hope, such strength, and you're right, it takes courage to stand up and be counted. And indeed, everyone, as you said, is part of the righteous of the nations, not only in standing up for Israel, but for standing up for the truth of what is right, of what is just, and being prepared to take on the world for that, as you and your wonderful father is doing. Olga, thank you for bringing the youth to us. Thank you for standing up for justice, for truth, and for Israel, the Jewish people. And I would just like to uh, conclude by once again thanking the wonderful representative, the ambassador in his personal capacity to hear the trade mission, our Israel friends, and all the incredible people. We've got a representative of the World Zionist Organization and our Christian and Jewish friends for being so supportive, for being so warm and so responsive to these incredible four people. In conclusion, I would just like to have one minute, half a minute, uh, as co-chairman of Africa Bless Israel, you've met the wonderful Pastor Albert Mabenga, may I invite each and every one of you to prepare to stand with us on the 21st of September, 2014, as the ambassador said in his opening speech, 16,000 Africans blessing Israel. God bless you and thank you. If I could take this opportunity to call up Reverend Albert Mbenga. He has been a visionary, he has been a champion, and an unflinching supporter of Israel, and the Jewish community would like to honor him with this award. It is a confirmation of, I'm gonna read it, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a certificate from the Jewish National Fund. It reads as follows. Trees have been planted in Israel in the name of Reverend Albert Mbenga Ukulangani, U Ukulangai, in appreciation for your outstanding and dedicated service to the State of Israel and exceptional leadership afforded to Africa Bless Israel. To come up and receive your award. 